OK, let's say um, in a school, these are the numbers of students in each of four year groups. Year 6, Year 7, Year 8, Year 9. And I want to give them a, make a survey of these students, give them a questionnaire. And, but I don't want to send it out to all of the students because it would take absolutely ages to actually sift through them all. So all I really want is a sample of 50, OK? So I've just chosen 50 arbitrarily. Now, um, I don't want a case where I send it out randomly and I send all 50 questionnaires to year 9, for example. I want to get a representative sample of the whole school. And this is what would be used in a stratified sample. OK? So what I need to know is, first of all, how many students there are in the whole school for those four year groups. So I add them up. 150 plus 120 plus 102 plus 200. And that gets me 572. So what I need is I need to find a fraction for each of these. 150 students in year 6, so I want 150 of 572, and I want that fraction of the sample size. So that's going to give me the same proportion as there are in the school in the sample size. So if I do that, 150 divided by 572 times by 50, and I get 13.111, etc. Now, I obviously can't hand out the questionnaire to 13.111 students in year 6. So what I would do is I would say, right there, I'm going to need 13. I round it to the nearest student. For year 7, is 120 over 572 times 50. So if I change it to 120, I get 10.489, etc., etc., etc. So I'd round that down to 10. So I want 10 from year 7. For year 8, 102 out of 572 times by 50. And that gets me 8.916. So I'd round that up to 9, to the nearest student. And then year 9, finally, 200 out of 572 times by 50. And that gets me 17.482, etc. OK, so that's 17 students for that one. Now, one thing you might notice from this, OK, is that now I have a fair share from each of the cohorts, so I should get a, a representative sample. The thing is that actually 13 plus 10 plus 9 plus 17 doesn't actually add up to 50. It actually adds up to 49, OK? So in this process, we've lost a student, effectively, um, through rounding. OK? So you can kind of see it because one of, both of these are very close to that 0.5 mark. OK? So how you um, then deal with that process, if, the, if this was a situation um, if this was um, an actual real life situation, you'd either have to change your sample size and just do a recalculation. So you might choose a sample of 51, for example, and recalculate. Or you just leave it at 49, OK? Just hand it out to 49 students, OK? Otherwise, if you then add that one back in to one of these groups, uh, that group would then be uh, overinflated. Okay, so you've just got to think of it from a practical point of view.